What are we doing today? All right, you guys, we're gonna go down to the Show Me Reptile Show. We can go to the reptile show. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are actually on our way to the Show Me Snakes Expo and we are going to also meet up with Jeremy's Wild Studio. If you don't know who he is, he is also a YouTuber. I am hoping to set up a bioactive enclosure. So bioactive things are what's really on my shopping list, but you know, there's also a new addition, but we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more later. We have a few setbacks. We have to go get air for my tires because it's yelling at me. Okay, so we have found Jeremy from Jeremy's Wild Studio and we're going to do some shopping. Do they, will it wear it? Yeah. Can I, can I? Oh my gosh. What, oh what a special little dragon. Oh my gosh. Uh, I can't, how are you? I work here. This should be your first tarantula. It should. It's, it's a Brachy Palma Hamori female. That's like you. This is like the best you could start out with. Like honestly, pulls by and pulls by. These. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so sick. <laughs> Little spicy guy. I got a couple bags of these hydro balls and I will show you exactly what I will be using these for in a minute but basically they're to make a drainage layer for a bioactive setup. I also stopped at Lynn's Pets as usual there and I picked up some crickets and some wax worms. I also was able to grab some springtails so if you don't know what springtails are they're just really tiny little they kind of look like mites but they're not and they basically go in the enclosure and they clean up for you. They're a good cleanup crew. I also picked up another E. Uedum or Emerald Skeleton Tarantula from my friend Bobby over at Eight Legged Puppies. So I actually do have this species in my collection already, except it is male. So I'm hoping that this one turns out to be female because I would love that. And here we go. I got another dead leaf mantis. If you know, I had one previously and it passed away and I was very upset about it and I said I probably wouldn't get another but here we are. My friend had another sack and I just thought let's do it again. Let's try to get this one to maturity and he's pretty sure this one is female so that would be really cool if it turns out to be female. <music> 
All right, my dudes, let's finally do this. So this is some mesh that my husband picked up from like a hardware store. Basically, this is supposed to not be susceptible to rusting. And here he is installing it for me and measuring it all out. So basically the purpose of this is to keep charcoal from falling into the like layer at the bottom. You don't really want it to mix together because that would just like defeat the purpose of a drainage layer. So this is just some carbon that you put on top of the mesh and that's going to kind of serve as a filter in your bioactive setup. just need a thin layer and then after that you put your substrate on top of it personally i'm going to be using repti soil i do not have live plants just yet for this but when i do get some this will be pretty good for them So at this point, I'm just going to start transferring some of the other substrate over. So Magic Frog did have some springtails already in his enclosure. I just bought more to like make the population bigger essentially. I also wanted to switch him over to this bin cage instead because the glass and the screen top just did not really hold humidity in there as well as I wanted, so this will be better. And I added some leaf litter because springtails will like it and it's more foliage for my frog to just have. Oh, hello. Okay, okay, be free. No, but he che he tweeted at me. <laughs> there you go. You got a whole giant enclosure. Look at the comparison. It's like, it's actually really good. It's almost a foot of floor space. Yeah. What do you think? He's so mad. He's so mad. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. But look at your new fortress. Oh, I forgot to add the springtails. I knew I forgot something. Can't always bring more bugs in the house. Those are cool. Wow. There, oh, there's some in the water dish jumping around. There's a whole bunch right there. They're in there. So I think Magic Frog's new enclosure is going to work out really well for him because now we have springtails. So I never had any issues with mold before, but this will definitely help prevent that. They kind of clean up for him. And once I do put the real plants in there, they'll also be beneficial for those. Essentially everything kind of helps everything. That's basically the idea of a bioactive is everything benefits each other and it all works together in harmony. In theory, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that is all I have for you guys. Magic Frog has been in his new enclosure for about a day now, and he hasn't really left the corner. I wonder what he thinks of all the space or if he even notices, probably not. Also, before we go, I wanted to thank Amber and Krista for joining my Patreon. If you would like to join my Patreon, I will have a link down below. I have an unboxing coming up. Yeah, I know, crazy, another already? Well, this is a very special one, and I will see you guys then. Hey buddy, how are you? Let's go outside. We're gonna go outside. I'm gonna take you outside. Put them back.
back. There he goes.